for once that there is an audition for plus people. So I was like, I don't know if I'm quite plus, but this would be very interesting. Anyway, I used to be a little fat kid. When I was growing up, I had to make sure that I had to prove myself around normal sized people. So I ended up doing twice as much of the ability that they had, but I was always thrown in the back. With Project Hulu, I got to create a platform where the guys who feel like they do not fit in anywhere can show up and represent themselves as they are in their own authenticity. Because plus size women is me. I've not been actively going for auditions to be very honest but this one really excited me because it was it was one one off with passion you can get somewhere but with practice and hard work getting to auditions auditions and auditions auditions you'll find at least a producer or filmmaker somewhere who is interested in your particular kind of not necessarily look but how you act because it's basically acting i'm nervous <laughs> Alright, thank, thank you so, so much. much for coming. But what I mean when you see the so I was in action. <laughs> I feel like I was so much in action. Yeah. I me after that she felt like okay. <laughs> we are back. Hi, I am the Plus Wanga Princess, aka Saram Kabana from the Plus Wanga Kingdom. Hello, my name is Chol Jurkuch, filmmaker and occasional actor. We are judging today's auditions for a short film, short feature film by uh, Sheila Kimadi. We're doing an audition for my short film it's called Huru Scented Candles. I want to cast a plus size woman for it. Uh, the role can go to pra practically anyone, even a dude, but I'm just like, why not? My name is Miriam Oidera. My name is Kare Kimathi. My name is Mugeshe. My name is Joanne. My name is Catherine. My name is Mindy Musau. We open it up to everyone else who wants to come through because it's not a restricted confinement. So why not try out other people who are not in the industry? Um, it was actually quite surprising. I was not expecting that many girls to show up. Yes, no. <laughs> but it was pretty humbling that actually guys came through for the audition. They were courageous enough to come through for the audition, even for the first time which is okay too, but it's the first it's the first initial step that counts like you've appeared, you should, which I love and I'm honored to be here to witness it. Because typically you know most of the time when like you're we, we are advertised for roles, you're like, oh so I'm going to play like the Mama Mboga or the Mama something. You know? But this this role that we are casting is just for a girl truly she could be any size plus size focused but size inclusive because we want everybody but we just want to give more light for the big girls you know for the big girls you know which was very jarring for me because i had a one track mind of what i wanted the show to look like or what i wanted the actor to do but says everyone has brought me their diversity, they've brought me an extension of themselves and how they get scared. And I'm like, okay, I need to actually look into it and stop being like, see, see, Nisifikire Kamala, Rhino. Yeah. One track mind, but I need to open up and be diverse into reactions and stuff. And that has showed me that today. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit. Now what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! No! To at least have a variety of actors that I can see for current and future projects, which I've seen at least so many. My expectations were superseded. So I'm pretty encouraged that people want to be seen and people want to act and there's talent out, out here. It's just because they're not given good of a chance to show what they have. I'm trying to support you into 
allowing yourself to be confident because your confidence is always in you it's you to decide whether you let it out or you keep it hidden it's the first audition i've judged so it was good the talent oh i was not expecting that like people dropped phones we were not going to pay them back but then you get to die just prepare mentally, try and woo your judges, whoever is auditioning you, because they're looking for they're looking for something that they won't tell you what it is, but give it your best. You may find that maybe it's you. I want to make all my movies about plus size women in regards to a uh, project Huru. Like in Sasa, what happens again? Koni watu wadono, koni ni my plus size pekee kwa kwanga na shida. Hmm? Sieta sisi wengine, wenye sini wakonda sana ama wengine tutoshe kwa kwa environment wata kwa kwa hii society pia. So make space for us. So I'm kind of... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I will I will open it up to people who feel like they've been left out and they want to fit into a part of something bigger. Whatever field you're in, whatever space you're in, if it's in your community, if it's at home, if it's at work, if you're taking up space and owning that space and it's because of something I said or did or something Project Hulu showed you, oh, please. Fat girls should rule the world. Sorry. Because one, you know the food will always be great. And what else do we need? World hunger over immediately. Thank you. It has been fun today. Saturday.